Let's go now to Morgan Murphy for the weather news. Morgan? Thanks, Tasha. The big story this week, actually not out east, but rather it's down in the south. The eastern half of Texas was affected by a major winter storm that went through there. Not so much snow, but more ice. The roads were actually completely white as if it had snow, but it was actually ice that kept packing down and packing down throughout the day. The freeways and side streets were completely shut down to a slow crawl there. People had trouble just getting home from work to and from. There was actually a semi that went off a bridge because it was so icy. Luckily, though, he was rescued by rescue crews with only a few minor injuries. There were a few good Samaritans out there. The Dallas Jeep Club actually made use of their talents, and they rescued all the people that they could find on the freeways and the side streets to make sure they could get home safely. But as a meteorologist, we looked at the storm, and there wasn't anything really too alarming for us. We look at the, the map for that day, and we see a low-pressure system up north here a little bit, and but over Texas we see majorly mainly high pressure, and it doesn't really result in a whole lot of rising action up north here is where we suspect to see those storms. But we took a look up in the upper atmosphere at the jet stream, and we saw that there was a major dip in the jet stream, and there was actually a little pressure system that formed right there. That's a rising action right there that caused all this snow and precipitation to fall. But looking a little bit at what actually fell that day, it was actually a lot of freezing rain. And what happened was that the jet stream brought a lot of warm air from the tropics eastward here. And we see it originally fell in a frozen state. It warmed up and it became a liquid. And then before it hit the ground, a lot of cold air got to it. It became freezing rain. That essentially will freeze on contact with anything. Moving a little bit further to the east here, we saw a lot of sleet form. And that's basically mini hail or little ice pellets. And further east yet, we saw mainly snow. We did talk to one meteorologist, though, who told us how to find something frozen on the ground that you don't need precipitation for. Each winter people battle the elements. One of the biggest battles is against frost and icing. The, the optimum conditions for an overnight frost are clear skies, light winds, and if, if it's a little bit on the humid side or if they're also forecasting a chance of maybe some early morning fog or something like that, then there's a pretty good bet that you're going to have to go out and do some scraping. The formation of frost affects everyone. It can take time away from your morning to scrape your car windows and it can hold passengers up at the airport. Every morning during winter, planes like this have to get de-iced in the morning. This process can take up to 20 minutes and can delay flights. Cars and planes are not the only surfaces where frost can form. Because air can flow freely underneath a bridge, it can cause the surface to be below freezing. Any moisture in the air then turns into frost or ice on the surface. It is important to remove frost, but Mike has one technique you should never try. What people did is to get the ice off of the cars, they were taking a tea kettle full of boiling water out and pouring it onto the ice. And it not only melted the ice, but it broke the glass. There are a lot of problems with frost in winter, but if you really stop and look at it, it is one of the most beautiful things. Well, Mike says you should never use boiling water in your car. He does say that you can buy a de-icing fluid and you can spray it on there. That brings us to our weather question of the week. What is the size of the largest hailstone to fall in the United States? Is it 3 inches, 5, 8, or 12 inches? And I'll give you a hint, Tasha, this hailstone actually fell not too far from Grand Forks, North Dakota. All right, thanks, Morgan.